the proposal that I am making for a common government does not negate or preclude the possibility or the option of creating two states or one state. It does not prevent the Israeli and the Palestinian governments from reaching an agreement to create their borders or to dismantle themselves and to create one state. It does not prevent any negotiations between the Israeli government and the Palestinian governments, including the Hamas government. It does not preclude those governments from doing anything because it is a separate government for the people of Israel and Palestine together separate from the Israeli government, separate from the Palestinian government, independent of them. What I am proposing is that the Israeli government will remain and will continue to represent the Israeli people, the same with the Palestinian government, will remain and will continue to represent the Palestinian people. I am proposing that all of the institutions of the Palestinian and the Israeli will remain intact, including their military, including their parliament, the Knesset, whatever. All of it will remain intact. What I am saying is that a common government will not preclude the Israeli and the Palestinian government from making any agreements between them about any other solution. It would not even preclude other formulas for peace. It would just be an additional formula for peace, in my opinion, probably will end up being the only formula for peace because the Israelis and the Palestinians are unable to come up with formulas for peace. But they are bringing this argument to convince people that a common government is not good. I, I take that back. They are not bringing that argument yet. I anticipate that they will bring that argument. They are ignoring the, uh, in reality, they are ignoring the possibility of a common government. Uh, but the people who are against a common government, on both sides, the Israelis and the Palestinians, bring that argument that we say, well, we first need to have two states, or we first need to have one state, or we first need to have a Jewish state, or we first need to have a Palestinian state, or we first need to re get rid of the occupation, or we first need to deal with the Palestinian refugee issues, or we first need to decide on Jerusalem. Well, the common government that I am proposing does not in any way, shape, or form prevents the Israeli or the Palestinian governments, or both of them, to deal with those issues. Ahalan v'sahalan, deal with those issues. But we all know that they have not been able to deal with those issues. Let's not kid ourselves. These are, these are just um, straw arguments that are being made for the purpose of arguing to continue in both sides. Because in my opinion, both sides, the majority of people in both sides, majority of Israelis and Palestinians on both sides do not want peace. because peace will harm their own identity. They're afraid for their identity. Their identity on both sides, the Israeli and the Palestinian side, is based on religion, on nation na nationalism, and militarism. And they need that 
conflict to go on in order to maintain their argument, their, their, their um, identity. And they don't want to get rid of their identity. So if you think about it in a, a little different way, if you think about health, you could do surgery, you could do medication, but you can also eat well and exercise in addition to the possibility of surgery and in addition to the possibility of um, surgery and medication. And if you really want your health, if you really want your health, which most of us do, probably all of us, we would explore a third possibility, willing, uh, eating well and exercising. The same thing here, if we really want peace, we will explore the possibility of having a common government for the people of Israel and Palestine. It's not going to preclude the Israelis, it's not gonna preclude the Palestinians from any other agreement between them. And the common government that I speak of is a common government that will be separate and independent of the Israeli government and the Palestinian government, a government that will be common to the entire area, a government that will have three branches, legislative, judicial, and executive. And they will be separate, separate branches. And they will work day in and day out to make peace. It will be, they will be on an equal basis for the people of Israel and Palestine. And their whole focus is to make peace, to give prosperity and security. And if you are for those visions, peace, security, and prosperity, and if you are honestly for that, then you should be supporting the third government because there is, you cannot articulate any reason why it's not a viable option. It's not going to remove one hair from the security of the Israelis or the Palestinians because it allows them to maintain their own organizations, their own institutions, their military, their parliament, their government, etc. So I hope you, you, you think about it and I hope to um, be able to give you uh, some more uh, details about it in the future and in the meantime um, have a nice holiday and uh, Merry Christmas to everyone and uh, Happy New Year if I don't speak to you by then. So thank you so much and I appreciate your participation. Bye-bye.